Hi everyone, I'm children's author and songwriter Chris Sanders and welcome to episode four of How to Write a Song. Now, I'm joined again by my friends from the Auckland Philharmonia Orchestra and I'd like to welcome Bella on double bass. Hi. <laughs> In this final episode, I'm going to be looking at the structure of the song and ways to enhance the song. Sometimes I use other experts to help me enhance my song. Would you guys be willing to help me with that? Yeah, sure. Great. Now let's start with step 10, the structure of the song. A common structure for a song is verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, solo or instrumental, chorus. Many songs will also have an intro at the start and an outro at the end. Now, the verse tells the story. That's the what, when, where, who, and why. I call it the five W's. The chorus is the attention-grabbing message or main point that you really want to get across in your song. Often, this will be a catchy hook of the song that everyone will remember. In Teddy Bear, I made mine quite repetitive. I think this is gonna be my chorus. Teddy bear, teddy bear, I can see you everywhere. Teddy bear, teddy bear, with your button nose and your fuzzy fair. Teddy bear, teddy bear, count how many you can see. Teddy bear, oh teddy bear, come join. We need an instrumental hook. Oh, that's perfect, much better, thank you. I like to describe the bridge of the song as almost like a summary of what your song is about. Perhaps the deeper message that you're trying to get across in your song before it leads you back into your final chorus and conclusion of the song. This is a common structure, but that doesn't mean it has to be the structure that you use in your song. In fact, many songs start with a chorus. Other songs don't have bridges. Some songs don't even have solo instrumentals at all. So have fun and experiment because there isn't any right or wrong. It's your song and you can do what you want. Now, do you remember when I gave the orchestra some Lego and they all had exactly the same pieces, but they've all built something completely different. We've got a car, a camper van and a boat. Yes, that was fun. I like breaking the rules. Hey, why don't we try starting the Teddy Bear song with chorus? It's kind of catchy. I like that idea. Now I have to come up with the verses, so that's the part that tells the story in the song. Now, you may remember at the end of the chorus, we invited people to come on a teddy bear hunt with us. Now, it'd be really cool to have some counting fun and see how many bears that we can spot around the neighborhood together. So maybe you guys could help me find some words that rhyme with these numbers. Um, how about one? Fun, no, fun, fun, fun. Fun, that's a good one. Great, what about two? Blue, you go screw. Yeah. Yeah, blue's quite good. Yeah, let's do that. How about three? Keep me. Three. <laughs> she. Tree. Yeah. Tree. Tree? Yeah, fantastic. Let's go with tree. Um, what's next? Four. Floor. Floor? Floor. Next door. door? Yeah. Yeah, door. That's great. All right, let's give it a go. One. One. This is going to be so much fun. Two. Two. It's got a little scarf that's blue. Three. Hiding up there in that tree. Four. Sitting by my neighbour's door. That verse really describes the teddy bears that we've seen all around the neighbourhood now. So when you are writing the verses of your song, think about describing the things that you're doing following those five W's. The what, when, where, who and why. What you are doing, when you are doing it, where you are, who you are with, 
why you are doing it. Now, you don't have to describe all of these things. Pick one or more that work for your song. In the teddy bear song, I'm following two of these W's. What I am seeing and where I am seeing it. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you about is working with experts. So that's step 11, collaborating with other people. Yes, we collaborated together to brainstorm ideas and free write. I'm really good at the rhythm and the beat because I'm a percussionist and we do that all the time. I'm great at melody, but I'm not very good at writing the lyrics. We shared our skills and made a really good team. It's really fun collaborating with other people because often you come up with ideas that you may have not come up with on your own. And also, you don't have to be an amazing musician to come up with your own creative song. I can play rhythm guitar and I can sing, but I can't really play any other instruments. I certainly can't play the instruments in the orchestra. So I asked experts to come in and help me with my song to make it even better. Sometimes it can really enhance the song by putting harmonies in the song. That's when someone else sings the same words, but just on a different note. Do you want to give it a go? Sure. Okay, here we go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, I can see you everywhere. Great. For you musicians watching, one of the most basic harmonies is formed by playing the first, third or fifth note in the chord. So if you like, you can get together with all your friends and find out what their creative skills are. Hey, you could even start a band one day. If you've enjoyed this How to Write a Song series, then why not go and check out the finished Teddy Bear Hunt song available on all digital download and streaming platforms today. And hey, did you know it's a book too? The World's Greatest Teddy Bear Hunt is available now at apo.co.nz or click the link with this video. We'd like to thank you for watching this series on how to write a song and we're really looking forward to hearing all about your creative journey and also your number one hit songs in the future. We'll catch you later. Bye.